Hello guys, welcome back in OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and today I'm going to demonstrate you how to automate export backup on Linux platform step by step. So without wasting your time, let's move on the computer screen and do the practically. But before starting my tutorial, I request to you, if you are new on my channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get my all the notification in your mailbox. <music> Friends, I have already uploaded all the step on my website ocptechnology.com. I will put the link in my video description also. So let's connect with the server and do the practically step by step. Okay. Okay. This is my server. Let me check how many instances is running on the server. Okay. Currently here only one instance is running digital. Okay. So first step create backup location backup location during the data pump export import utility we need to create two types of location like one is a logically and one is a physically so uh, for the xpdp we need to create a physical location and one is a logical location physical location at os level and logical location at database level okay so let me create this physical location Uh, my physical location is created and then we need to create a logical location using the physical location that is called directory so at the database level so first we need to log in in a database and then create a location okay now let's create a directory at database level okay directory is created let's check the directory details see we recently created a directory exp underscore dump this is our directory name and this is our physical location where data pump store their backups the first step is done let's do the second step is create schema okay let me copy the same steps from my website also let me clear the screen first so master user has been created now let's see the next step step 3 we need to grant some permission to the master user so that it can be take our export backup of our database and can be import the backup this is the command to grant the read write permission to master user on the exp underscore dump directory which we created in the step 1 so just enter okay and the next step is The second command grant the permissions export full database and import full database to master user. Now this is the main important points where we are going to create a cell scripting for the export backup. I'm going to create a export underscore backup dot sh file inside the this location. So using the vi editor I'm going to open the file. Exit from the SQL prompt and on the dollar prompt just paste this command and hit enter press the i button and just copy these lines from my web it will be helpful for you let's understand the script this is our environment you can get these details from the your bash underscore profile and this was the command the master user will taking the backup of full database and this is our directory and this is our dumb file name and this is our log file name save this file As you can see our cell script file doesn't have the execution permission so we should set the execution permission for the file this time you can see file color has been changed and the file has the permissions let's see the next step in the step 5 we are going to schedule export backup inside the cron tab cron tab is a scheduler for the linux platform write a command cron tab hyphen e before scheduling the backup in cron tab check your server time what time is running on your server so as you can see here the five o'clock in the early morning and you can see on my server i'm recording this video at in the afternoon you can say 
okay so before scheduling any backup on your server you should check the time on your server so as i can see here the time is 5 8 so i'm going to schedule the backup at 5 10 so this is cron dev press i and just copy paste here and just change 5 10 okay this is 0 5 then save 5 is the hours and 10 is a minute and rest on my location and this is my script okay let me save this file let's wait till 5 10 so check the backup is automatically running or not till then i'm going to pause my video for a minute okay it's 5 10 now let's check the backup is running or not okay now you can see here the backup is running at 5 10 see the timing let's check the backup file is created here or not it's still not so but within a few seconds the backup file is coming here so we will check again within few seconds and you can see the backup file is created here okay so let me check it is still running or not the backup is still running let me open the log file tell hyphen 10f full log so backup is still running so once it is finished i'll show you okay as you can see here the export backup is successfully completed so this is the way to schedule the export backup but this is the simple way if you want to know about the advanced method so on my website there is an advanced method also available which is creating a date wise folder and date wise dumb files you can also use this method you just replace previous code with this new code and the finally the backup will go in your date wise folder let's check it practically also first it is creating a folder with the current date during the export it will creating a dumb file and log file with the date and after that once backup is completed backup file dumb file and log file will be moved inside the current date folder so again i'm going to schedule the backup first i'm going to check the date it is 5 14 and uh, i will be scheduling the backup at 5 16 okay let me clear the screen and wait till 5 16 as you can see the time is 5 16 now let's check the backup is running or not sorry this is ps not pd okay finally the backup is running and you can see here also the backup file is created with the date and the log file also created with the date current date and let's check ls hyphen l and inside the export backup directory you can see here the current date folder also okay and these file will coming soon here backup files with the date available in the location once the backup is finished the backup file moved inside the current date folder so let's check it out okay the backup has been completed now so let's check inside the file see there is no file the file is moved inside this folder let me go inside this folder and check see the both file is available in this folder this so this is the little advanced script you can use anyone which you want so i hope you found this video very informatic if yes please like and comment the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye